Hello, 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 and welcome back. It's Maria, and I am so grateful that you're here, so thank you for clicking on my video. I am going to talk about change today. <laughs> I tried to talk about change last week, but it didn't seem like the right time to do so, so here I am. And you know what, it does feel more fitting this week because I do feel like there's a lot more change happening, especially for me with going back to school for my last semester, yay, and trying to get a new work schedule in with my coaching and um, part-time job, things like that. Anyway, um, there's also a lot of other change happening kind of behind the scenes, but uh, we can talk more about that another day. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to come on here and remind you that you guys are resilient and strong and your soul is stronger than you may believe in the sense that we tend to go out into the world and label things good or bad and when things come into our life that we seem to be bad or not to be working in our favor then we allow ourselves to become upset about that but the thing is is that change is inevitable change happens every day right we wake up in the morning and we don't actually know for certain what is going to happen that day and changes happen everywhere left and right and then we have our big changes in our life we have the moves the relationships the um, new endeavors of traveling or um, purchasing lifelong dreams purchasing or living <laughs> um, anyway change is something that we're taught to fear which is crazy to think about, but it's true. We grow up, we're taught, okay, be careful with this. Oh, be careful, don't get hurt. Um, are you sure that you can do that? Can you handle that? Things like that, those kind of words. Um, I remember when I was in high school and my guidance counselor, I wanted to be a veterinarian when I was in high school and she pretty much just said like, y you won't be able to do that. Like your grades are not good enough for that. And I was devastated and I was frantic because I thought I'd had to change my whole life. And I had it all planned out. I had it planned out what I was going to do and when I was going to do it. And the thing is, is that we try to control these things so much. We try to say, okay, well, this day I'm doing this or this year I'm going to focus on this. And then in my five-year plan is this. And that's great. And those goals are amazing. And Congratulations on knowing what you want, for sure. I think that we have to be open on how we receive those things and when they come into our lives because the truth is, is that we can't control those things. We can't control everybody on this earth. We can't control when these things are going to be available to us. And we might have to detour. And the fear of that's scary. So... I just want you to know that the unknown is almost, I don't know, I look at it as being really beautiful. I think the unknown is amazing because it's something that, um, that we, <laughs> it's kind of interesting, like we stress over it so much, but in all reality, we can't control it. So learning how to surrender to that moment and surrender to our journey is a really beautiful process. And maybe I can talk about that more in another video as that's something I've been focusing on a lot lately um, but yeah I want to remind you that you guys are resilient you are so strong you are intelligent and smart and you are going to figure this out you are going to be okay and everything is working in your favor it might not seem like that right now and it may not seem as though your life is turning out the way that you had hoped, but I promise if you look back five years from now, you're definitely going to understand why the things happened the way they did. So have faith in yourself, trust yourself that you will be okay and that anything that comes into your, onto your path, you can handle. I know you can and I have full faith that no matter what, you will succeed. You will find that love, you will find that job that you're passionate about and you will make that money and attract that money that will support you in living your dreams but you got to be open to how it comes in and when so that is my message for you today 
what a lovely message. I think I needed that too. So I'm glad that I got to uh, share that with you. And yeah, Monday message. I think this will be my new thing. I think Mondays are a good day. <laughs> and anyway, if you have anything that's changing in your life, let me know. I'm so interested to see what you guys have been up to and what you guys got going on. Comment down below. Please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate everyone that already has. And um, yeah, hit the subscribe button. Then you can get more of my videos in my face on your screen. I also have an Instagram at Maria B. You can also email me if you're interested in my coaching one-on-one -on -one calls, which I do have a few spots open. So yeah, let me know if you're interested. Uh, shoot me a DM on Instagram. That's a really good way to get a hold of me. Uh, either way, thank you for being here and I'm so grateful for you and I will talk to you all soon. Lots of love. Talk to you later.